what's going on guys welcome back to the channel as you know i'm your boy lg and today i'm bringing you a video that i feel like has been long awaited by the masses today we're going to talk a racer guys as you can see from the beginning when i was making videos a racer has made an update it's a while ago i should have put a video out a while ago i'm sorry but today we're going to get into a couple of those updates and one of them i'm going to show you i actually feel is crucial to something that people have been questioning me about a lot which is how to set the fuel base so today we are gonna dive into the a racer and I'm gonna show you this new setting that assists you in setting your fuel base so let's get into it so first thing here let's break the app out and I'm not gonna go into much of the details on any of the changes but as we slide over and go into calibration if you compare you'll notice there's a couple changes here but Today, what we're going to talk about specifically is number five, temperature compensation. And I'm going to explain to you how I've been using this and how I've best found that this works. And it makes complete sense to me. I've actually had a chance to tune not only my 143, but a couple larger big board Groms. And this is how I tune theirs. And they've been running fine. So I would say it works. So essentially, as we go in here, temperature compensation compensates for different temperatures. Obvious. But what I'm going to get at here is remember in the first video when I talked about setting the fuel base and how in the beginning, you know, fuel didn't vaporize as much and, and all that good jazz. This essentially is going to give you the ability to adjust your fuel and allow it to automatically adjust based on the temperature. So say we go to the bike, we fire the bike up. First thing we want to do is set the fuel base. And in the beginning, this is kind of a race game that I play. I want to establish a fuel base where as soon as I start the bike, I'm paying attention to the closed loop right here and seeing how much that's adjusting. And as quick as possible, I want to go back in calibration and adjust this fuel base so that this closed loop, I usually let it read negative five because that means it's cutting five per five on fuel, which means you're a hair rich. I like to lie a hair on the rich side just to know that everything is good. And this has been a number I've been using, and it's been working perfectly. Ask anybody who I've assisted, my homie Paragrammer, he'll let you know it works. His grom runs great. But in the beginning, it's a race because as the temperature goes up, the fuel, it's going to change. It's going to start to eat more. more. So as soon as you start the bike up, you want to be paying attention to the closed loop, seeing like, okay, how much is it changing? If it's changing, whatever it is, make that to where it's negative five. Uh, if you got to add fuel, add it real quick, take fuel away, take it away. Once you've done touch that and it reads negative five, from here, you're going to just allow your engine temperature to rise. And as it rises through these ranges, you're going to adjust the base here. And how this works is this 100% is the base or bottom line to what we already previously set. So it's going to be changing off of, so say if you put your base fuel at, say with my big bore kit, it's like 43 to 46 is what I run. So we'll say 43. If I put it 43 here, that's what this is starting from here. It's at 100 is 43. And then when you add fuel, it's going up from there. So in the long run, which does happen from time to time, say the temperature changes and you come out and you start your bike one day and you feel like it's running funny. I always take it out of auto-tune, toss it in closed loop, obviously save your auto-tune information. I toss it in closed loop and I see what kind of changes are being made. And say, for instance, if I come out one day and all of a sudden it's running leaner than usual, Instead of going into each temperature compensation spot, I'll just go right over here into the fuel base, and this is going to skew the whole map. So say if it's running leaner one day, after we finish setting everything up with the temperature compensation and you've got everything set in stone, and I'm about to backtrack because I feel like I skipped something real quick. If you need to change the whole map one day because it's running lean, just bump it up a percentage, and then you'll notice your closed loop will go into its normal range. And then since temperature compensation has been set up already, this is already done and done. Going back to here, because I kind of got, got off track a little bit, I realized there. 
your goal with this temperature compensation is the same as when you were setting your fuel base. So as it rises through these temperature ranges, you're going to add fuel, pop back out here, and see what the closed loop is changing. And your goal is still for that to say negative 5. Before I go into auto-tune, I make sure that through all of these temperature ranges, up into 176, I'm letting the bike idle. And the reason I say you do it at idle is because you want you need a base at idle. Like if because one day if you're out riding and your bike temps up to 176 and you come to a stoplight and it's eating more fuel, but then it's only tossing the amount of fuel that it does at the beginning idle, which might be 43, you're gonna choke out and die. You know, so that's why I feel like when they came out with this, it was an awesome upgrade. But I feel like there's not much information out about it on how to actually use it so I hope that gives you a good insight on how that functions in you setting your fuel base it should make it a lot easier for you guys to have healthy engines and, and keep running um, stick around this is not the last episode of this I'm gonna go into a couple of the other things to explain it because I've actually reached out to a racer and we've chit chatted a little bit and they've told me kind of how these things are supposed to work which some things make sense, some things don't, but like I told you guys before, I'm just a guy here with an A racer, share my journey with it and what I figure out with them. Um, and actually, getting back to this, if you guys really want to help me out when it comes to this whole A racer thing, because I would love to do more videos, especially with one of the other computers that they offer for the Z. Um, I forget the numbers, but there's like the Super 2 or something like that. Um, preferably whatever unit would hook up to my phone because I'm not really trying to take my computer out to my bike. But re reach out to them. Shoot them a message if I've helped you out in any way, shape, or form with this A-Racer and say, hey, that dude, his videos, you need to hook him up. Send him a computer. Let him make videos for this one. I'll even send it back to him. Like I don't need to keep it because my bike is tuned. But mainly just to support the community and help you guys out. I see the number of questions up on the forums, and it's a lot. But anyway, I'm rambling on at this point. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe, stick around. There's more Eraser videos to go. But until next time, everybody, hope them engines are healthy.